I'm so happy right now. I've always wanted to be in one of these rooms. And this is bizarre because it, it's like completely empty. There's like, I think we're like the only guests here right now. Today is a video I never thought I'd be able to make, but I was able to make it. It's insane. Uh, we got to do kind of one of the things that has been on my bucket list my entire life. We went to Animal Kingdom Lodge. Animal Kingdom Lodge, the room that we had, ranges from $600 to $1,000 a night. So I'm gonna let you guys know, is it worth it? Now when we filmed this, this is back when things just started reopening at Disney and it was a ghost town. So I hope you enjoyed this like kind of time capsule of what the resort life looked like. It was very odd, but uh, I hope you enjoyed. Guys, I am super excited. Uh, we are off to Animal Kingdom Lodge. I have never stayed there before. You are in for a treat for what we are about to experience. Now, I believe I don't even have to check into the front desk. I think I can just be checked in through our My Disney Experience app, so I should just be able to tap the magic band and get right through security. I'm so excited. Here we go. So we're gonna be staying at Jumbo House, which is the Disney Vacation Club side of Animal Kingdom Lodge. We're here, what makes it a little different is you park in a garage, the other Disney resorts you kind of park outside. Zazu is looking real thirsty right there. This painting Zazu looks like he's flying a little too high, if you know what I mean. This is some of my favorite artwork at Disney World of Timon looking real happy. And then you have the wonderful Timon. Who knows what is going on with his mouth? So creepy. This is the face we make when we see that we're paying full price. Huh? Oh, oh, I heard it. Oh my gosh. This is what I'm talking about. This is like an experience I've always wanted to have. And look, the Savannah is right there. Let's open this thing up. I cannot wait to sit there tomorrow morning and watch animals. Okay, well, in the meantime, let's go back inside and do a little room tour. Let's start from the beginning. I, I'm so happy right now. I've always wanted to be in one of these rooms with this kind of geeking out. We got microwave, coffee maker, coffee, scots. We've got paper plates, got some plastic cutlery, a nude little SpongeBob over there. Ooh, a little fridge. We gotta go to Target and get some drinks. A little trash can. The bathroom. Look on the backsplash. You have all sorts of different animals. Okay, I can't be the only one, but when I see that, I don't see a giraffe. I see a Star Wars sea cow. That's what I see. So I like the curtain. And then they have all the soap. It says cleaned and sanitized. So that's hooked up to the wall. Little towel, the hand soap. Man, I'm just so happy. I, <laughs> we're gonna have so much fun this weekend. Towel, toilet, lots of room. Oh, again? Guys, watch this toilet. This toilet could suck down a Casey's Corner footlong hot dog in 0.3 seconds. So plenty of towels, one sink, tissue box right there. But right, we got a mirror on the back. This door is so thick. I don't even think Jack Torrance could get through this. Ironing board, extra pillows and blanket. I just love all the details in this resort. Okay, so we got a nice little cabinet. We can hang up our stuff. Place to put your luggage. The theming is just great. Everything is all aged. It feels very like rustic. I wonder what all these symbols mean. They even have a little hit of Mickey right there. A wonderful Disney Resort TV, a little swivel. You got this really cool mirror. Look at the lamp. Little lizards. All the carved wood. Oh, even up here. Guys, there's a little bit of beading. Okay, so this goes together as one bigger table. But you can take it apart. And underneath here should be another bed. You got some artwork right there. For some reason, I really enjoy all the light fixtures that they have in this resort. The main draw is just that view of looking at animals. Now some of you are thinking, how do they stop the animals from walking all the way up here? If you look closely, there's a little fence that goes all the way around the savanna. And then there's also cameras right there, which watch the guests to make sure they're not doing anything bad. The back of the chairs are zebra. The high touch cleaning areas that they clean before you come in. Everybody always freaks out about the USBs. Okay guys, I just noticed this on the phone. You can call for animal information. So if you have any questions about the animals outside your window, this kind of takes me out of the theming. All the linen has like theming. 
and then like the box spring is just like a normal box spring. I feel like there should be like a cover over all of it. Normally, right? Am I imagining something? Time for a bed test and Beans, this is your first bed test. I hope you're ready, okay? You're gonna go first. All right, Beans, ready? The next day. Now, uh, that's a view. Please do not throw food or trash into the savannah. This is absolutely insane, guys. It's like having your own personal safari, but like 24 seven. I never thought in a million years I would be waking up to a giraffe. Uh, well, I think Alice and I are gonna be going to the pool next. We're gonna be walking over to the Jumbo House pool. Welcome home. Okay, so it looks like the Jumbo House gift shop is closed. It is a, it's a ghost town here. Alice said that only like what, one floor is open right now. And the little bar, Victoria Falls, is closed. This is weird. That's Boma down there. This is always popping. It's a buffet. There's Boma. That's all blocked off. Same thing with Jico. Jico is still closed. And this is bizarre because it, it's like it's like completely empty. There's like I think we're like the only guests here right now. Is they still have the little pool bar open? I'll get the I'm gonna get the sunrise margarita. Bad news, I forgot my ID back in our room, so I can't get a drink. Mm. Have a wild time, y'all. <laughs> but not too wild. Oh, that's hot. Okay, it has started to rain. We're leaving the pool. You got views of all the flamingos over there. We just heard if you're wanting to get a drink at the pool, the pool bar is actually only open during the weekends. Pumbas, fun and games. Closed, so the arcade is all empty. And also it looks like the lockers that you used to be able to rent are closed. I like the bathroom for the women's sign. It's a female lion. Then for the men, it's a male lion. And then, ah, oh, this one's really sad and upsetting to us. Amara is closed. Alice and I, looking forward to get some, oh, that is bizarre in there. Look at that. Look at all those chairs just like stacked up. It legit looks abandoned. It's so sad. On the safari, those baobab trees aren't real, but this is actually one of the real baobab trees Disney has on their property. So if you're ever over here, if you look really closely, there's a little hit of Mickey. See it right there. There's the little hit of Mickey. I just can't get over how eerie all of this is. Let's see what daily adventures Disney's Animal Kingdom has. Oh. All the plexiglass up behind. So when it comes to Jumbo House, I believe it's only the pool and a couple of rooms that are up in here. So mainly it's Kidani Village where we were. Yeah, they normally have the drum circle with all the kids right here. We're gonna do a lighting fixture appreciation montage for Animal Kingdom. Now we're in the elevator. I thought normally they had like little advertisements for the restaurants and things going on, but I guess it's just blank for right now. All right, now you see. Allison is dressed up and looking cuter than ever. Woo! With that matching little Vera Bradley mask right there. But we're gonna be going to eat at one of my favorite restaurants, Sanaa. We're gonna get the bread service. Now it is lunchtime, so the menu is a lot smaller, and it's a different menu than the dinner one, and I think we might get a cast member discount, but we'll probably end up paying full price like always. <laughs> We passed our temperature screening, time to take off the mask and ready to order the bread service. But look at this view of the savannah. I see this chair in the lobby and it reminds me of episode one, C-3PO. Am I going crazy? Do you know what a group of giraffes is called? A giraffic jam? A group of giraffes is called a tower. Do you know what a group of giraffes running towards you is? What? A tower of terror. <laughs>
Okay, so again, like every other Disney resort, it's a digital only menu. I ordered the blood orange margarita. It's got a Saza Conmemorativo tequila, coin tree out lime juice, and or <laughs> blood orange sour. This is what vacation tastes like. The bread service is one of my favorite things on property. It's amazing. I wish you could smell the smells that are going on right now. It's, it's just like pure joy going on in our nostrils. Spicy garlic ginger traditional Kinnear Parathan onion. These two are the spiciest. Red chili sambal, jalapeno lime pickle, coriander, garlic pickle, um, red pepper hummus, tomato de jam, tamarind, mango, and cucumber. Allison's gonna be whopping on that bread oh, service. It's hot. Oh. Oh, it's real hot. Oh. <laughs> now, if you didn't know, if you ask, there's an extra special spicy sauce that a server can bring out for you. So these are all the normal ones that come to bread service, but then this, that's the extra spicy one. Allison is a fan of spicy, but I like to go with this one and that one, the green one. Oh my god. This is the, the, the one. spicy one. <laughs> You're going first. It's pretty spicy. You ready to see a grown man cry? Oh my god. Mm -mm. Oh, my mouth is on fire. Oh my god. Oh. What do we Marvelous. have here, Christina? This is going to be your tandoori chicken. Then we have the kids butter chicken with macaroni and cheese and rice. I ordered the tandoori chicken. It's got traditional naan, rocket, pickled onions, tomato, and a sambal mayonnaise. Right, I'm looking at it right now. If you've ever had like the chicken ronto wrap, at Ronto's Roasters they have like a chicken wrap. And this looks like a fancier, bougier version of that. Oh my god. Oh, that chicken. That's good. I like that chicken. The mayonnaise kind of tastes like a fry sauce. I love every single thing about this. I just finished. That was like the perfect lunch that you want. Like a high protein, lots of carbs. Like, it was just good. And then eat that, and then you're energized. Go back into the park. I will say it's very messy. I am glad I'm wearing a shirt like this so you don't see the stain. This is incredible. We're just sitting here eating, and that there's, <laughs> there's just the wrap everywhere right outside the window. This is the reason you stay at this resort. So you could be sitting here looking out a window and seeing just a giant tower of giraffes. I ordered another drink, treat yourself, on staycation. I got the antioxidant lemonade, so it's got Van Gogh acai blueberry vodka, lemonade, pomegranate juice topped with Sprite. This tastes like a like a lemonade, like ice pop. I don't taste the alcohol at all. Oh, and the blueberries there. It's like a blueberry juice. This is what we got for dessert. We got the African triple chocolate mousse, so it's got dark chocolate from Ghana, milk chocolate from Madagascar, blonde chocolate, and then chocolate almond biscuit and strawberries and if you look closely there's a bunch of little hidden mickeys okay let's see how the dessert is I don't think I've ever had dessert that tastes like that. All the chocolates together create like this like new version of a chocolate. It's because it's a mousse. It's super creamy and smooth. And then you add the cookie in there. Allison's favorite animal in the safari is the Ankoli cattle and it's slowly waddling its way over to us right now. What's your little fun fact about the Ankoli cattle? They're the only domesticated animals we have here at Animal Kingdom. Their horns are hollow with a honeycomb like structure. Okay now normally we sit in like the booth but try to request a window seat. Now off the waiting room of Sanaa, they have this little path. It's like a little nature path. Come and look at the animals right there. During the nighttime, they have a little bonfire going. There's normally rockers, but I think they took those away. Well, they do have a rocker right there. <laughs> Look, this is insane. So close. Look at them right there. So Sana, amazing as usual. Now I would really request ordering that chicken dish that I had. Last time I got the burger, really wasn't a fan of the burger, but the chicken was amazing. The drinks were good. The bread service was amazing as always. The thing that I really enjoy, and you cannot beat the view of all these animals, guys. I love the theme and architecture at this hotel. You truly feel like you're not at Disney World. You're in this own little like animal kingdom world. One of the downsides is if you don't have a car, it's kind of hard to transfer transport around the Disney parks areas because there's no Skyliner, there's no parks right next to you that you can just walk to. So you kind of need a car if you're staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge unless you want to take those buses. Right, we're just down here. We came upstairs and they have a little spot where you can sit down and just... Look at them, the little noses in the grass. I forgive you for what you did. To Mufasa. Now, one of the good things is this gift shop over Kadani Village is still open. Now, one of the big things that people really love when they come to Animal Kingdom is eating the zebra domes at Boma, but don't worry, I know Boma's closed, but you can buy them here in the gift shop. Okay, we are back at home, right? Oh, right, I wish this was our home, but we're back at the resort. We're back at the room, oh, it's time to eat our little zebra domes. Sprinkles on them. Have you had one before? I've never had one. Now, normally at Boma, it's, they're just on the buffet, so you can see as many as you want. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 
I love hearing the commentary of all like the little kids. You can hear them all in the balconies and all the people freaking out over the animals right in front of us right now. Now, the best way to describe like the emotions going on right now, if you've ever played like The Last of Us, there's the scene where Joel and Ellie see a giraffe. That's kind of like what this is like. Now, when you're on the safaris, you see a giraffe for maybe a second or two, but this is like you can just sit here and watch these animals for hours. I think no picture or video can give this view justice, if that makes sense. We are currently on our way to Kadani Village's pool. Last time we were at Jumbo Houses, so now we're gonna go check out the pool Kadani. We're trying to enter in, but there's like <laughs> this whole like water park. Okay, but then oddly the kids' little jungle gym area is all shut off. All right, so they got the pool bar up there. Kidani's pool is a little busier than Jumbo House's. Okay, this is a really tall slide. I hope you guys are able to see me, even though it's a little dark out. Yep, we're going. Right. We're leaving the pool right now. Kidani's slide is definitely better than Jumbo House's slide. But Jumbo House's pool is better than Kidani's pool, if that makes sense. This is their fitness center. Survival of the fittest. I like that. The next day. Good morning, I beans. It's time to get up, buddy. We gotta start packing because we gotta go. We'll look at the animals one more time, though. Now, so I think the real question is, is it worth it for the Savannah view? And I think yes. I'm sure I've said it a million times in the videos, but just how breathtaking this view is. Like, I'm currently watching the baby zebra roll around in the dirt right now. Like, I would say, if you are coming to Animal Kingdom Lodge, it's go big or go home, get the Savannah view. I wouldn't suggest do the other rooms because you just, you can't beat this. I do think people kind of take these animals for granted because yes you can go on the safaris and you can see them but there's very few places in the country and the entire world where you can see these animals and to see them all interact with each other it's just truly breathtaking now this trip would have never happened if it wasn't for Brian and Sandra unfortunately because of everything going on in the world they couldn't fly down to have their Disney trip this year so they didn't want their points to expire so they offered them to me guys I personally just want to say thank you so much this is like one of the greatest little staycations I have ever had this little trip I will remember for the rest of of my life. Okay, so guys, we are at home again. What did I feel this? Two years ago? It feels like a lifetime ago. So much has changed. It was such a weird time in the Disney history, right? When things were just empty and Alice and I were literally like the only people in the resort. It was very eerie, but also very peaceful, right? Because it was just kind of like you with the animals by yourself. You know, Disney rooms are so expensive. And this is one of the rooms where I feel like it's almost worth it because there's not too many places, like I said, in the world that you can experience like waking up and seeing a savanna of animals. I would say you got to do multiple nights because there's so much to do now that everything has fully reopened at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. All the restaurants have reopened. All the playgrounds are reopened. It's 100% back to normal now. So I would say once in your life, you got to do Savannah View at Animal Kingdom. Go down to Sanaa. Don't go to the parks, honestly. Like, you're like in this secluded, peaceful, zen resort. And it's honestly one of the best resorts at Disney. Don't waste your time with the contemporary or the grand isn't even back to being grand right now. Go to Animal Kingdom Lodge on your next vacation. I promise you, Savannah View, you're gonna have the time of your life. The rooms could use a little bit of a refurb. They do seem a little dated. And if you've watched Disney Plus's Animal Kingdom show, you get to kind of see the animals that are in that show walking around which is really cool to kind of connect with like oh I saw that animal on that episode so it was really cool to connect I said kind of earlier in the video I was like if you don't have a car and you kind of want to get some other food or travel around you're gonna have to uber or you're gonna have to take the bus because there's no skyliner there's no park nearby it's kind of one of the drawbacks I think there's like a phase two plan to bring skyliners to Animal Kingdom and maybe Animal Kingdom Lodge again Animal Kingdom Lodge fully support it one of the best days I've ever had on Disney Disney property. So guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Disney Resort tours, it really helps out the video. Hit that like button. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Join the family because I'll keep you up to date on all things theme park and Disney. Bye right, guys. I love you all. Please stay safe and I'll see y'all very soon. If Orlando had a cult symbol, this is what it would look like.